In this video we will go through with the service or lists features, filters, searching a list and use of wildcards. Our list displays the records from a data table, such as incident, problem, change, or company table. List appear in the content frame, for example, on the screen you can see the list of all incidents. The list interface consists of a title bar, filter, breadcrumbs, and columns of data. Each column corresponds to a field on the related form. Now let's move on to explore the list controls. We can access the list controls via the list item by the menu icon, or by right-clicking on the title bar. We can select a specific view from the list controls, which contains the predefined set of columns for the list. We can select our saved filter to filter the list of records displayed. Currently, we are viewing all the incidents with no filters applied. When we select a filter, let's say active unassigned, the list displays only the records that satisfy the condition. Here is a list of active and unassigned incidents. Selecting the none removes the filters. Grouped by options allows us to group the records by a column. Let's select category for example, so, here you can view how many incidents there are for each category value, we can remove the grouping by selecting none. We can also change the number of records or rows displayed per page, Click on the Show option to change the number of rows or records displayed per page. More the number of rows selected, the longer the system will take to load the list. So it is always recommended to keep the count to a lower value or keep it to a default value of 20 rows per page. To ensure that we are viewing the latest updates on the list, we can refresh the page by clicking the Refresh List option. Using the Create Favorite option, we can add a link in the Favorites tab to the currently displayed list. For example, we have applied the filter conditions to the list to view all the active incidents where the category is equal to software. Let's create a link by clicking on the Create Favorite option and let's give it a name and change the color and the icon. Here you can see a link has been added into the Favorites tab to view the displayed list. You can personalize your view of a list without affecting the other users by clicking on the gear icon. The check boxes at the bottom here offers the display and editing options. Here, we can choose which fields to display in the list columns. Let's add two more fields on the list, which is update, updated by and click OK to view the list. So, here you can see the two columns that have been added to the list view. Notice that the there is a green dot next to the gear icon, which indicates that you have personalized the list. We can sort the list by any column by clicking on the column name. Clicking the name again reverses the sort order. You can also access the sort options through the list column context menu. Now, let's move on to the next topic which is filters. A filter is a set of conditions applied to a table to help you find and work with a subset of data in that table. A simple way to filter a list is to right-click a value we want to exclude and select the Filter Out option or right-click a value and select it show matching to display only the matching records. You can always tell how a list is filtered by looking at the breadcrumbs here at the top. For example, here are the filters applied assigned to is empty, active is true, category is not inquiry, or help and priority is equal to one or critical. The greater than symbol in between the condition here indicates the different conditions. The breadcrumbs always starts with all where there are no filters and all records are displayed. Each filter conditions further refines the results from left to right, the leftmost conditions being the most generic and the rightmost being the most specific. Clicking on any of the conditions removes the conditions to its right. For example, if we click on this category condition, it will remove the priority conditions and by clicking all, it will remove all the conditions. To remove our conditions in from the middle of a filter without affecting to its right, we can click on this greater than symbol to the left of the conditions which we want to remove. Now let's remove this category conditions by clicking on this greater than condition which is left to the category. Here you can see the category conditions has been removed. Clicking the rightmost item refreshes the list. Let's see how to filter the list with the Condition Builder. Click on the Funnel icon to view the filter conditions in the Condition Builder. Each filter condition consists of a field operator and value. The buttons on the top are called a top-level conditions, while the buttons on the right are called dependent conditions. 
Let's get rid of the category conditions and add and or conditions to include the priority to incidents. We can also add the sort option by clicking on this add sort button. Let's sort the list using the opened field and click run to run the filter. The advantage of building a filter here is that you can save it for yourself for future use. We can save the filters by clicking on the save button. Depending on the roles, you can also save the filters for the other users as well. We will save this filter making it visible only to the current logged in user. The save filters will be available in the list of saved filters and we can always edit or delete any of these filters using the added personal filters. Moving on to the next topic, which is how to search a list and use of wildcards for searching. The first option provided by ServiceNow to search a list is available on the top of the list view. This option allows us to perform a quick search on one column. Available choices here include all the visible fields in the list. Let's search the open field. If you don't put any wildcard along with the search term, the system automatically applies the default wildcard. In this case, it applies the at or after wildcard for daytime field which is reflected in the breadcrumbs and in the condition builder. Here we can see the search locates all incidents which are open after 1st of December 2021. The magnifying glass icon next to the gear icon provides us with the second option to search a list. Clicking the magnifier icon hides or displays the column search fields. This option allows us to search on the multiple fields. Now let's search for records with a short description field containing the term server and the categories, which ends with the keyword, where. As you can see here using the asterisk wildcard tells the system to return the records where a search terms appear anywhere in the string. And using the percentage wildcards tells the system to return the records which ends with a search term. You can also search for the exact phrases by using equal to wildcard. So, let's search for all the incidents which are open for Fred Luddy. Here you can see the search results provides us with all the incidents where the caller is equal to Fred Luddy. Another wildcard provided by the service now is exclamation mark. This wildcards helps us to exclude the search term, it is used in combination with other wildcards. For example, if you want to view the list of all the incidents which are open for users other than Fred Luddy. Then we can add exclamation mark to this search criteria and we can see all other incidents. Similarly, we can also search for the short description field where the term server is not available. This criteria gives us all the incidents which are not open for Fred Luddy and doesn't contain server keyword. Thank you.